Oh, hi there. I'm Zachary Drucker. I'd like to communicate to you some of my experiences being a real-life, full-time, continuous, self-actualized person. Tonight, I'll be performing the role of a gay transvestite drag queen. Many of you have probably been witness to a drag show at some point or other, probably at a low-rent bar for homosexuals where oversized men squeeze themselves like 10 pounds of shit in a five pound bag, strap their gorilla sized feet into lucite marshmallow pumps, tease up their cheap synthetic wigs, and beat their faces like rodeo clowns. Perhaps you thought the whole thing was rather lowbrow, that it was emphasizing the more unattractive, whorish aspects of femininity that their outfits looked ragged and homemade. Or, for the more appreciative viewer, perhaps you were rather excited by the flawless glamour, the unreadability, unspookable unclockability, the impeccable quiver of her mouth lip-syncing that same old Madonna song. Ladies, Maybe you were at your college girlfriend's bachelorette party saying, that's so unfair, her legs look better than mine. Or maybe you were a sex pervert in the dark corner of the club thinking, I'm gonna stick that bitch when she gets off stage. I'm gonna tip her a few $1 bills and buy her a drink. I'm gonna feel them tissue paper titties and break her in half like a pretty little China doll. Or, for the more analytically minded, perhaps the whole thing seemed rather desperate and misogynist. These he-shes have created a world where the men are women, the women are whores, and the men are faggots. Well, I'm here to tell you that all of you are right. Ladies and gentlemen, as a person working in performing life, I would like you to experience this piece as if it were a vacuum cleaner, forcibly sucking out all of your preconceived notions and counterclaims on the bilateral battle of mimicry, the discourse of freedom, the fetishizing of the performing body, and the layering of temporality located within shemale sluts. You ain't never gonna look this good, lady. You ain't never gonna clock this bitch queen. And you ain't never gonna have enough one dollar bills to pay for my pussy motherfucker. Now let's get started.